at Lake Elmanora today. We're going to be fishing with Captain Brian Ricucci of Big Daddy's Guide Service. We're out here looking for big trout. Brian has been catching rainbows that start at about three and a half pounds and range up to seven. We're probably not going to get a lot of action today, but the action we get is going to be big fish action on big wild rainbows. I've been wanting to fish with Brian for at least 10 years and uh, it's coming together today. We're going to get out here. We're going to catch some big trophy fish at Lake Elmanor. With the boat in the water and the gear stowed, Brian shot over to the east shore and the hunt for big trout was on. So what are you doing, Brian? We are threading up the first unlucky volunteer of the day. A dirty old worm. That's right. Awesome. Dirty is right. <laughs> it's a nice plump one that's just ripe to get chewed on by a nice big Almanor trout. Awesome. So Brian is an expert trout fisherman. He won't say that, but he is. So let's watch how he threads a worm. And anybody that reads my stuff knows I love fishing bait. So I am all about killing worms and threading shad and whatever. So this is, this is cool. There you go. There you go. There's a threaded worm. And you, are you going to use blades, flashers, any of that today? Nope. We are running them, as they say, naked. Gee. Awesome. Yeah, we're not going to be able to horse these fish in. They're big, strong fish, and we're fishing really light gear, light leaders. And uh, I'm a firm believer in playing the fish out a little bit longer, leaving them in the water a little bit longer, and uh, tiring them out before you net them on the light gear. So, so you told me we're using, we're actually using four-pound leaders now. We, you, you'll get less hits if you go heavier. That's right. Okay. And how deep are we going to be fishing? You know, we've been catching fish anywhere from about 20 to 30 or 35 feet. But in recent days, the hottest number has been 25. Cool. First drop of the morning, we're going to start off right where we left off yesterday. And shouldn't be long until we see that rod bouncing. All right. We'll be back on Lake Elmanor after this message. Fishing the West with Kel Kellogg is brought to you by Penn Fishing Tackle, Abu Garcia Big Game Reels, Cousins Tackle Premium American Fishing Rods, and The Fish Nipper, the premier source for West Coast fishing information since 1982. We'd been trolling for about a half hour when Gene hooked the first trout. All right, look at that. You want to be here, Cal? No, I'm fine. I'll move he's around. Got, he's got a See him jumping. Yeah. He got some line on you there. He's further out now than when you started. Yeah. <laughs> these guys, just keep doing what you're doing. So you see Gene here fighting this fish. He's just gaining line when he can. Just nice steady reeling with a high rod tip. That's the, the best way to land a big fish. You don't want to <laughs> put his tail into that one. As the fight went on, Gene's reel started to malfunction. You feel like he's pulled so hard it feels like your reel's not working. <laughs> You're almost there though, look at that. Don't tighten the drag. No, I'm not, not going to do anything. Keep reeling. Do what you tell me to do. If I'm in your way, Brian, just tell me to get out of the way. What's going on? Keep cranking, Gene. You shouldn't have to crank that hard. No, it's not. It's just cranking hard. He's almost to the fish, though. You keep me in line. I'll keep a little pressure on him with the motor here. We might have a real malfunction here. Yeah, it, it's really, really cranking. Really it hard. is, yeah. Yeah, the drag's still working good. This might be cold. Right. <laughs> there you go, that's working, Gene. Keep doing that. Just don't turn the drag. Don't do it like that. And then, Gene, come stand right here at the back of the boat. Put your knees against that carpet. That way, if he dives on you sideways or gets down towards the trough, you can. As long as the drag's still working, you're yeah. good. 
you, know, you know, so this is an important point that we got a reel here that's sticky or whatever it's doing right now, but you could still land a fish. Just don't lose your cool. The drag's functioning on this reel, and we're going to get this fish in. He's right below the boat now. Oh, I see watch, color. Watch that swivel. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. That's a fat fish. Oh, that's fat nice. Wow. That's nice. Nicely played, sir. Thank you. Deal. Considering the adversity. <laughs> so, so is that an is that an average fish? What is that? Yeah, this would be average or small average. Awesome. Very good. We'll be right back after this word from California Don Sport Fishing. If you're a Northern California saltwater angler, the California Don is the charter boat for you. With more than a quarter century of experience, California Don skipper Captain James Smith specializes in potluck live bait fishing. When fishing the rich waters of San Francisco Bay, striped bass and halibut are typically the target. Beyond the Golden Gate, big lingcod, rockfish, salmon and halibut are on the menu. Don't forget the California Dawn is the only NorCal charter boat featuring a chef and delicious meals. To book your adventure, dial 510-417-5557. With trout number one in the box, we were back on a troll looking for more. As we passed by, we had the pleasure of watching these anglers land a very nice brown. This husband and wife had fished with Brian the day before, and it looks like they were nice. pretty good students. Thanks to Big Daddy Guide Service. <laughs> good deal. A couple minutes later, and Gene was into his second fish of the day. We got a lot of head shaking going on down there. It's getting close. I don't know what he is in a second. Good having your ice chest there for the platform for you, too. Exactly. That's a good fight now. Feed the boat. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. Beautiful. Easy enough. Easy enough. Lift, Gene. Lift. There you go. Nice. All right. Awesome. Ooh. Ooh, another fat rainbow. Look at that fish. Right there on the lip. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll be back after this message from SackRiverGuide.com. Nice. Yakima Bait Company describes Captain Kirk Porter Carrero as the number one guide in Northern California. Captain Porter Carrero specializes in putting his clients on trophy Sacramento River King Salmon. Kirk also offers trips on the Sacramento for epic wild rainbows that range up to 10 pounds. To book your adventure, dial 800-670-4448 or visit SacRiverGuide.com. This is our salute to Dodger Baseball and Tommy Lasorda. <laughs> After that, we were back on the troll and it was my turn on the rod. All right, maybe I can land this one. I just lost one, now we got another one. Oh, that's a heavy fish. Just a lot of weight. I'm nervous, I'm like a big kid. I can feel it, this is a heavy trout. Oh, buddy. He's just staying deep. He hasn't really ran yet, but he just feels so heavy. Yeah, that second one I caught the same thing when he started. Okay, now oh, I could be wrong. I think it's a really, really big fish. He's acting like it. Not taking any line, but he's just heavy. Oh, it's a big brown. No, he got a big clink of weeds on him. Oh, that's a big brown. 
Oh, we got a gorgeous brown trout here. He is big and beautiful. Should I stay here? Yeah, you're good. He's so big, I thought it was weeds. <laughs> wow, what a gorgeous fish. Still about 25 feet away. Good. Just try to gently bring him within net range. You got to bring Gene up now. Brand's got a long net. Oh, come on, baby. Oh! Okay, so you got a big trout on and he's thrashing. Put the rod tip under the water and they'll go back down a lot of times. I learned that from Gary Coe, the kokanee fisherman. Woo! All right. Wow, it go. look at that brown. Yeah. Nice. Hold him up, Brian. Beautiful fish. Wow, gorgeous. Had another hook in him. Yeah, and a line coming out of his vent. Yeah. Hold on to him. You got him? Yeah. Here, Sonny, hold him up. Look at that awesome fish. Hold on to him. I'm going to toss him back in. <laughs> no, I'm going to I'm going to let him oh, go. Oh, I know that. Look at that gorgeous brown trout. What a beautiful fish. Oh, that's gorgeous. Clip that line off of him. Yeah. That is beautiful. This fish has definitely gotten away from a few people. Not his first rodeo. Yeah, somebody got a heartbreaker there. Oh, that's great. There you go. Come on. Get feisty. Go on. You got it. Go, 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 go. Okay, so we just reeled in that big brown. The surface temperature here is about 72 degrees and that fish was really tired. I fought him really slow. He was really exhausted. If you can release fish like that. You just got to take your time. Brian got some forward momentum going in the boat and I just kept moving the water over his gills and I held him by the tail shook him by the tail and when he showed me signs of life I held him for a little bit longer and let him go. You just got to be patient and work with a fish like that and he's out here for somebody else to catch and that's awesome. Clean a trout. Alright so here's how you clean a trout. Cal and Gene decided to keep a couple of these for dinner. Beautiful thick rainbows. We're going to start at the vent hole. We're going to come all the way up the gut here all the way through. There's a little bit of soft skin on either side of the jaw right here that if you just push the knife straight through and pull it to the front, that's going to open up your jaw and then you can put your thumb and your fingers in and simply pull the head away from the body and the whole line of entrails will come out along with the front pectoral fins of the trout. Once you get to this point, you just got to take care of the bloodline. We'll just make a little incision up that, give her a quick rinse, and then run your fingers to up and down that. And then it always helps <clears throat> whether you're at the fish cleaning station or you're on the boat to have a nice wash down hose to sort of finish the job off. And what you're left with is a beautiful Lake Almanor Rainbow with some gorgeous orange meat in it. That's how you clean a trout. So we're just having a look here to see what these fish have actually been eating. We took this out of the gut of about a three pound rainbow. Oh wow. And as we kind of spread this around, what you can see is right here and here, all this stuff with the yellow coloration is all hexagenia fly larvae. It hatches on the bottom and comes up through the water column. When they hit the surface, they turn into the bright yellow hex flies. And these fish at Lake Almanor just absolutely love them. Wow. With the fish cleaned and the wind coming up, we headed back to the ramp. It had been a great day on Lake Almanor. To book a trip with Brian Ricucci of Big Daddy's Guide Service, give him a call at 530-283-4103.